Meet Pippa is today's video. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is our free six week course where our slimmers are going to lose a stone in the next six weeks. Welcome Pippa everyone. Woo! <laughs> now I'm really excited to meet you Pippa because you're friends with one of our current slimmers which is Liam. I am yeah. <laughs> Do you want to admit to being friends with Liam or not? <laughs> Probably not. He um he has sung your praises like nothing else. So I'm um I'm expecting good things really. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to help. Now I I think you, unlike Liam, will listen to me because Liam doesn't really listen to me, to be honest. So if you listen, it will work, I promise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, he is. I, I moved in with him and he did lose, you know, almost a stone in a week. So he did do really well on a serious note. Um, he, he just loves to party too much. That's wrong with that boy, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> and he tells me he used to be your neighbour. Yeah. Did you used to have yeah. to tell him off to turn his music down or not? I did, often. <laughs> on a Tuesday night at 4am when I'd work the next day. <laughs> Well, well done for telling him to shut up. I mean, <laughs> great. Right. So welcome to the course. Um, as you on in your application form, you said your goal is to drop a dress size. So yeah, we can definitely make that happen. Uh, you are going to be doing a slightly different journey to the others, though, because you've got a little holiday, haven't you? I have. <laughs> where when are you going? Where are you going? Going to Crete on Sunday. Oh. Um, I've been. It, it's the it's the willpower to stick to the diet, and I mean, I've had so many people invite me out for meals and things, and that just froze me completely because I'll be trying. And I can be good at home, but as soon as you go out for a meal, it's really difficult to. Cause so many tasty things on the menu, you don't want to eat a salad. <laughs> And you go in there and you smell the things and yeah. you look at the things and you know even the people that are trying to be really good just all your temptation goes out the window yeah. doesn't it? you just go and everyone something. wants a dessert so yeah <laughs> now you are right um, eating out is the biggest challenge hmm. when you're away are you all inclusive yeah OK, so a lot of people might think that's a bad thing. But the good news about all inclusive is uh, I was in ho on holiday in Spain last week and there is always on an all inclusive buffet, especially loads of meat dishes, loads of mm. fish, you know, lots of fresh salads and freshly cooked vegetables as well. So as well as having maybe some treat bits while you're away, you can definitely keep your protein up and keep mm. your nutrients in as well. So. I'm I think the difference with when I'm being away is I swim a lot more. So at the moment, I barely do any exercise. I'm, I just don't do it, yeah. which is my biggest finding the time and energy to do it. Whereas on holiday, I'll swim a lot. So I, I kind of sometimes lose weight on holiday because I swim a lot, a lot yeah. more. So I'm not too worried about that part. It's the getting to go on holiday <laughs> that worries me. This so week. This, this coming week then mm -hmm. um have you done your food shop for the week not yet i was waiting for pearls of wisdom and look at the right. menus and i was going to base it on that and what are your um what do you think is your bad eating pattern is there certain Being type at of work, food? i think i stress eat so and my job's quite stressful so <laughs> Um, whenever things go wrong I tend to eat chocolate and crisps and snack a lot so uh, it's cutting out that I've cleared out all my drawers at work I've put yeah. them next door I've told my assistants not to let me have any of the snacks even if I beg Perfect. so I've got a bit of help there <laughs> and I had a salad for lunch and then um, when I felt like I was going to pass out I had a carrot stick so I've oh, tried yeah. to be really good today <laughs> until I got my menu choices and then base it on there. Okay. So first of all, just going, winding back to the whole stress relief and you're saying mm. you're, you're eating when you're having stress. This is where, you know, exercise is a great thing because relieving your stress through exercise is a wonderful thing. However, if you are stuck in the office, then this is something different. Maybe you could 
like try try and go out for a little walk for five minutes or maybe go to a different office or even just stand outside mm. the other thing you could do is just breathe you know we've all <laughs> had that moment when you sit there just think oh, okay so just try any other technique but not to eat how's your water intake not great i think i've had one bottle of water so far today but I've invested in, a, in water, so I've cut out my fizzy drink. Perfect. Great. So just having one of those bottles on the desk at all time is great because our bodies all the time, you know, we, we, we do need lots of water and just having it there right in front of us. I've always got my gin glass full of sparkling water. It's not, it's not yeah. gin. Uh, always on my desk. So again, I'm ready to have a little drink as soon as my body is telling me it needs something. So mm -hmm. having that there is, is also key. Um, and food wise, I don't want you to deviate too much to maybe the foods that you enjoy. Uh, but I really want to make sure you have protein in every meal uh, and also some fresh vegetables as well. So these are kind of the keys that you're you're looking for. Did you mm. able to were you able to look through our meal plans that I suggested meal plans? No, not yet. OK, so I'll send you a little link to that. So I want you to have a little look, look at that before you go shopping. But those are the, the two main things is just to get some protein in your diet um, and also make sure you combine that with the fruit and vegetables. Are you a snacker or are you into just meals? Snacker and do you have most of your calories in the daytime or the evening probably the day i say great well that's <clears> a good <throat> thing so just making sure just trying to stick to two or three large meals a day uh, mm -hmm. is a good way to stop snacking because hopefully then that you're too full to snack and again just making sure you get the protein in would help have you done uh slimming clubs before or any of the diets Weight Watchers. I lost six stone with Weight Watchers, um, oh, but then good. lockdown happens and I've put two stone back on and then I've lost a stone. So I've just got a stone to go and I was back to a weight I was happy in. Have you used My Fitness Pal before, our tracking app? No. I set so it all up yesterday, though. I just need to input my meals. So it's very <clears> similar <throat> to the Weight Watchers app, as in mm. the fact it's got a barcode scanner. Um, and you literally just track your foods meal by meal as you would with the Weight Watchers app as well. So you should find that quite simple. Um, the, the only difference is, is going to be you're going to be counting calories of everything. So mm -hmm. like with Weight Watchers, you get a lot of free foods where you can have a lot of free fruit and stuff like that. You do have to be careful, with, especially with fruit, because it has got a lot of calories in. Uh, but hopefully this will be a bit of an education and it will steer you towards naturally lower calorie foods instead of just to going for fruit or other things that they recommend on slimming clubs. OK. How do you sleep? I am <clears throat> all right, I think. I think because I'm just so knackered from work, uh, just out. But I go to bed late and then I'm up dead early. So how we... early is early? Up at six. I say early. You're earlier than that, aren't you? <laughs> well, five sometimes. What time do you go to bed usually? Um, I go to bed at 10, but I probably don't go to sleep till about midnight. OK, so maybe just trying to get into bed a little bit earlier, maybe nine or half nine and just trying to go to sleep earlier would be would really help you as well, especially mm -hmm. with your holiday coming up as well. You need to get into holiday mode where you're going to sleep lots and enjoy it. Uh, you said a, a little bit in your your form about your old injury with your back. Does that still play you up now? Yeah, so um, it's like. Um... A disc injury so if it's too if it's humid or changing temperature or if I've done a lot of walking it's quite um in flares and get a lot of sciatica so things like swimming and pilates I'm fine with but I won't be able to do like a high impact aerobics class or or something like that yeah this is what I was going to say swimming is perfect <laughs> for you because again it's mm. cushioning your spine and just making sure there's no issues with that do you have any sort of uh, steps tracker or a Fitbit or anything like that? Um, no, but I think I can track it on my phone. But I don't right. have a watch or anything. Yeah. 
So maybe uh, this week, I really want you to just focus on nutrition. Uh, okay. But when you come back from your holiday, um, just trying to get maybe do some extra steps would be good. So the last three. I'm going to do that park, Marquee and Park on a oh, Saturday. Yes. Come along to Park Run. It is great. <laughs> um and yes even liam's managed to do it so if liam can do it anyway yeah well, and <laughs> he's the one that talked me into it oh was it like commission <laughs> oh great pippa right so as i said i will tag you in the meal plans and have a little look yeah. through those and try and plan a few meals uh, but as I said, the most important thing is just to track your foods in the uh, My Fitness Pal, uh, and that will automatically keep you um, in check. Because it would be nice to lose some weight before you went away on Sunday, won't it? Yeah, that would be lovely. And you just feel good and energised, ready for the holiday. Fab. Right, any questions? I don't think so. I'm going to... Um print the stuff off while I'm at work and plan my meal and go shopping after this Perfect. feel positive I feel I'm in the right frame of mind for this yeah I could feel the energy when you started filling in my fitness pal and all these things <laughs> it started shooting through to my email I was like wow this girl's on it this is great <laughs> great right nice to meet you Pippa and we will catch up next time all right thank you all right bye. thank you bye